happening everybody? Rod Day back again to take a look at another beer. Going to take a look at another one from Chimay. This is their Rouge or their Red. This is actually the third of the Chimay's I've actually just reviewed recently. And this one is actually kind of the odd beer out. The first two, the Blue and the uh, Blanche, were both in a thousand and one beers you must taste before you die. This one was not actually in that cut. So... Um, don't know how it missed it, but can we get so many beers in? And this one actually looked at on Rate Beer is actually rated at 98. So the other one, the blue was at 100. The white uh, or the blanche was at 99. This one's at 98. Still up there. Still a great taste in beer. Had this one before a long time ago. Um, have not had it in a while. So looking forward to run a review on this one. If you're not familiar with it, I'll give you a little bit of a rundown here. Chimay Red is noted for its coppery color, which make it particularly attractive. Topped with a creamy head, it gives off a light, fruity apricot aroma produced by the fermentation. The taste perceived in the mouth is a balance confirming the fruity nuances noticed in the fragrance. Its taste, which imparts a silky sensation to the tongue, is made refreshing by a light touch of bitterness. To the palate, the taster perceives a pleasant astringency, which complements the flavor qualities of this beer very harmoniously. The top fermented trap is beer, re-fermented in the bottle, and is not pasteurized. So none of the Chimay beers have been pasteurized, so knowing that, we're going to have some yeast particles floating around in the glass, which is perfectly A-OK. -okay. This one best served in a Trappist glass or tulip like the others. And of course, we have the Trappist glass here. So without anything else to be said, go ahead and get this baby open and get it into a glass. Hey, how you doing? And just like the other ones, all their caps are color coded. So that is the red from Chimay Rouge. And this one is actually their Belgian double. This one comes in at 7% ABV. So of the three, this is the lowest uh, ABV that came out. So, get it in the glass. Very nice reddish tint as described. Nice red color on this one. Don't know if you can fully catch that with the light and everything. And I'm using my left Trappist glass actually. But it's got a great reddish tint to it. The head itself slightly off white. About a two finger head. Got some good bubbles on top looks to be kind of a creamier type head than the other chimes i've had this one looks like it may lace also a little bit more than the other ones too so uh, a lot more foam taking place on the head and inside the glass itself as mentioned do you see some of the yeast but also i see a little bit more carbonation so it's not as cloudy as the last chime that i had as well outside of that there's the appearance Let's go ahead and get an aroma. What the hell is that smell? Good aroma. You get the sweetness of the malts that come off. Do get a little bit of that uh, apricot that was mentioned. But not overly too much. But like the other Chimay's, a nice caramel sweetness. Uh, a little bit of um, molasses type sweetness, I guess, too. Everything you would kind of expect in a malt forward type beer. But that's about it right there. So good sweetness comes off of it. Let's go ahead and check the taste. I do want to know what it tastes like. Wow. So on this one, first thing I notice is the bitterness that hits you. You feel the bitterness on the tongue. You also get that apricot flavor on the tongue, which is also nice. Um, still have some smoothness with it. The texture is um, dry. It's got a nice crisp finish to it. You have about uh, about a medium to heavy body still on this Chimay as well. Um, great mouthfeel. Um, you feel like a tingling of the flavors um, after you take that swallow, which is really nice. Yeah, you do have a little bit of a little bit more of. A kind of a astringency on the back end um, not overly heavy or anything that where it's going to cause you to fully pucker but you feel that you feel the astringency there where you do want to get that that little bit of a pucker sensation so I think this one compared to the other ones like a little more I would say to the hoppier type side if that there's not a lot of hops in it 
but it's kind of got that more of a hop type feel. You definitely feel the bitterness more on the tongue with this one, um, with the different flavors. But wow, still a knockout beer. Um, the Chimay Red really holds up well. Like I said, of the three, this is the the odd the odd beer out, the lower one on the totem pole, so to speak. But still very good, still better than a lot of the beers out there. If you've had this one before, uh, let me know. Put some notes in the comment section. If you've had all three, let me know what your favorite may be out there as well and how these all compare. And I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Still a pretty good offering from Chimay um, with the double that we have here. Uh, very pleasant. So there you have it. A nice red beer. We do see some of the lacing a little bit there taking place. The head holds more on this one than it did on the others. As far as the aroma, a little bit more of a fruity to the apricot type aroma on here um but really the big difference is really in the taste a little bit more of a bitterness so if you like more of a bitter in your beer you definitely want to look at the chimay red versus looking at the blue or the white with that i'll say cheers i'm going to finish this one here and look forward to seeing the next video like i said if you've had this one before make sure you put some comments in the comment section let me know what you thought and I look forward to catching you in the next one. Cheers. Does this guy know how to party or what? Huh?